Hi, and welcome to Sweet Dreams Wellness. I am Barbara Tuckett, the owner of Sweet Dreams Travel and a wellness travel specialist. I believe that our mind, our body, and our spirit all play into our well being, and I create travel experiences which help your wellness and help you return from your vacation feeling more help, more happiness, and more connection. So, um, this is episode number 20. And today I have an amazing guest with me. Um, I am talking to Chanel Askew, um, known by her friends as Chinny, right? Right. <laughs> and I am so excited to have you here, Chinny, because today we are going to talk about your recently returned trip from to the Riviera Maya. And um, so welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm so glad to be able to talk to you today. Um, so the place where you stayed was called the Hideaway at Royalton Riviera Cancun, kind of a mouthful. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, let's just jump in and start talking about the planning process, first of all, like why you wanted to go on this trip and who you were going with and um, just all of the all of that stuff. Okay. Um, it was uh, just a girl's trip for my best friend and I. We um, both are in the beauty industry and the holidays are very rough. And last year was a rough year and we just needed to get away. We normally work, both of us work anywhere between 80 to 100 hours a week. And we just needed a break and a reset. And so we, um, I had been dying to go to Cancun and I talked her into it. And then mm -hmm. we because we've worked so much, I was like, I, I don't have time for this. I'm going to, I had met you at um, one of those markets in Salt Lake. Um, and I just saved your information and I finally reached out and it was seamless. And we could not be more grateful for everything that you did. That's so awesome. So, and I actually, I have to point out, Chinny, I won't like um, not talk about the elephant in the room, we can see in the background, you are actually sitting at the airport again right now. So, <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> so I am heading off on another little getaway. Yes, which thank you for saving the day with our transportation <laughs> for that too. <laughs> yes, not a problem, not a problem. Okay, so just quickly, let's just touch on anything like once you started on your trip, was there were anything that you specifically wanted to talk about, like at the airport or on the flights or anything like that that stood out to you? Um, obviously, if every any if you're helping people from Salt Lake City, um, we have a new airport, and if people haven't flown through the Salt Lake City airport, it is very different. And I would recommend getting here at least two hours early. If you're flying international, I would recommend two and a half hours early. Um, I'm not flying international today and it has taken over two hours to get through that whole process. So that was the biggest thing with that. And then, but I will say that having a direct flight out of Salt Lake City to Cancun was very nice and they made it really easy. They take your picture when you get on the plane. And then when you get back and touch back down in Salt Lake City, we, I didn't even need my passport to get back through customs. They just took my picture again and it matched, which that was seamless because when I previous international travel has not been that seamless. So that was great. Um, when we landed in Cancun, you had transportation already arranged for us and you told us what to look for, which is really nice. And the pointers they gave us to not talk to anybody in the airport were very helpful as well. It made that airport feel less, um, my anxiety very not high. Yeah, not <laughs> I don't know. The, yeah, not right. intimidating. Um, and we knew what to look for and that was great. And she had, that any transportation or any driver that we had um, had a printout of all of our information and everything, which was so nice. Um, sorry, let me put my mask on really quick because I'm yeah. gonna stand up. Um, so it made me feel like it was, sorry, Barb. No it worries. made me feel like it was safe and we weren't going to get taken or anything. It was really safe. And then um, the COVID restrictions in Mexico are not, I wouldn't say they're not extremely high. They're just similar to Salt Lake. Um, they did spray off our bags and our shoes before we got into transportation. But other than that, once we got to the resort, we just had to wear a mask to go into restaurants, but not at the resort, which was nice because we don't want any of the tan lines. This is not fun, but... 
other than that, everything was fine. Um, on the excursions, we did have to wear masks on the excursions. And um, I mean, they're taking the necessary precautions, I feel, to the best of their ability. Right, right. Which is which is great. I mean, you want everybody to feel safe and and um, you know not anxious about traveling. So so it's good that they do that. Um, okay, so let's get into the resort a little bit and just talk about. So in the planning process, one thing that you told me, you and Amy told me, is that you wanted to have a room with a swim out, and so. Yes. We worked on that and kind of went back and forth between a few different options. And um, anyway, so tell me why you decided on the one that you did and kind of what it ended up to be. Like kind of talk about your room a little bit. Um, we decided on that one just because it seemed like that resort had the most amenities. Sorry, Barb, I gotta get my... It's all good. It's all good. I know. This is like crazy. Sorry, my, I'm so sorry. No, I I am just so happy that you would talk to me. Let me and just it, get, yeah, let fine. me get down the jetway. <laughs> it's all, it's just fine. Um, we chose that one because the resort seemed to have the most amenities. Um, and the swim out suite was awesome because the swim out suite was 24 hours versus the pool closed at like six or something. Um, so, and then the room was nice. The bed, the only complaint I had with the room was the bed it was not super comfy. It's all good. It's all good. Yep, get where you need to go and then we can talk some more. So I'm- oh, one just, second. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna- um, I'm going to see if I can share my screen and just show, I just wanted to show um, a couple of pictures of the room. So, so I don't know if people can see this, but this is, whoops. I went ahead, I went back ahead. Um, so the rooms are really nice, but um, you can yes. tell us about the bed because I, we would love to hear about that. So the rooms, as you can see, look really beautiful, um, nice and spacious and lots of light and lots of um, brightness in the room. Yes, and we loved that the room, like it was so bright like that. And then there was curtains that, was, that would split the room. Um, so we could like take a shower, but then still be, one of us could still be outside and it would be fine. Uh-huh. So the room, there was no complaints other than the bed. I do have to say it's not the most comfortable bed, but it's probably because we were there for seven nights. All right, so the bed on a scale of one to 10, as far as comfort level, what would you give it? Seven. Seven. It wasn't terrible. You've, I'm sure you've slept in worse, but it just wasn't like, oh, this is amazing. So somewhere, somewhere in between. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, and just, we would love to hear anything else about the resort that you want to share. The food was absolutely amazing. The restaurant were like their steakhouse and the hibachi grill were absolutely incredible. We ate there, we ate at the steakhouse like every other night. Um, the staff was so helpful and if you make friends with the staff and you're really nice to the servers they will literally go above and beyond and make you like special things that are on the menu and like they they were incredible the staff is amazing there's no complaints with the resort resort at all that is so great that is so and we awesome did here. see we did go to the spa when we were there and that was my first spa experience at a resort but amy has been to plenty of resorts uh -huh. And she said that that was the best spa experience that she's ever had wow. out of any of them. It was amazing. That's awesome. 
That's great. So did you get a massage or did you do some kind of treatment? Yeah. Yeah, we they hooked us up and we did um the like couples package, even though we're just best friends because they hooked us up with a deal. And so we got massages, facials, wraps, and scrubs um for like 200 bucks a person. Wow. That is awesome. That's a great deal. That it really is. So and did you find time to Spend time at the beach. How was the beach? The beach was great. We did comb it daily. And the chairs is like, there was plenty of room everywhere. We didn't ever have to like um, fight for a chair or anything. Good. Good. That's awesome. Okay. So I know we kind of like don't have a whole lot of time and I don't want to take a lot more time, but I do want to talk about excursions for a minute. So tell me, tell us um, what you did. I know you did Tulum. And Shellha. Yes, we did the Tarum and Shellha, and then we um, swam with dolphins, and then we took a catamaran to Alamo uh -huh. Um, That was fun. I wouldn't do it again. Um, the island is very, very like they've taken advantage of the Americans, and I didn't like that. Okay. Um, but it was pretty. The dolphins were great. It was it was absolutely amazing. It was an incredible trip. Good, good. And so which one overall was your favorite excursion of the ones you did? The what Tulum would you one. Tulum. The Tulum. That's an absolutely must be. The Tulum and the Shellha or, or whatever. Yeah. 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 That's, a, that's a fun one. I, In fact, I like to recommend that one a lot to first time um, people who haven't gone to Cancun and haven't seen Tulum because those ruins are just like so amazing. It's just, it's so great to... Mm -hmm get to experience those so anyway all right well let's um just to wrap up I know you're like sitting on your flight and you're <laughs> going to have to go soon in just a minute but um any last minute recommendations or anything you would tell somebody who's going to Cancun or or that resort particularly the Royal Hideaway um any anything you want to leave with leave us with and no advice or anything just have a great time it was the most incredible trip and barbara i can't we can't thank you enough you did great and it was so nice to send you an email of exactly what i wanted and within two emails you got it done and because i time is a cruncher for me and you just made it happen and it, it was the most amazing trip it could not have been better Oh, that is so nice. That just makes my heart so happy that you had a great time. Well, I do. I know that people about the tips, uh, we brought like $150 in $1 bills. If you give a server like $5, like five ones, they will take care of you all day. And they right. go in like, I don't know. So that was a thing that I didn't really know because in Jamaica, we didn't really tip when I was in Jamaica, but um, Amy handled the tipping there, and that was the one thing that I didn't know, but uh -huh. I don't know if that is my deal, but that was the only thing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, the tipping, they, you have to tip very, very little, and they take great care of you, so yeah, I agree, I agree. All right, well, thank you so, so much for talking to me, Shane. Yes, I'm sorry that it was rushed, I'm so oh. sorry. No worries, no worries, I am just so happy to be able to, like, talk in person and be able to hear about it. So yeah, of course. And I would definitely be using you again in the future. Thanks. And let me know, like, if you want to send me any pictures, I can include them. Um, yeah, I'll send I recap them. it. So, yep. All right. Have fun Thanks on your later. trip. Now she, Thank this you. time she's headed to Phoenix. So have fun in Sedona and Phoenix and enjoy the warmth. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye.